Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to make a free ringtone from any YouTube video, and use it instantly. To make this happen, we're going to screen record a YouTube video extract the audio using shortcuts. Then create the ringtone in GarageBand. It sounds like a lot but honestly, it's not too difficult and we'll go for it step by step. The first thing to do is download GarageBand on your iPhone. So go to the App Store. Do a search for GarageBand and download it. Next up, we'll set up the screen recording. So go to Settings. Go to Control Center. And scroll down the list until you see Screen Recording. Tap on the green plus beside it. Go to the Control Center where we will now enable the microphone. Either swipe down from the top or swipe from the bottom of your screen depending on your model. Look for the round circle that's the screen recording button. We want to press and hold that, then we'll get an option to turn the microphone on or turn the microphone off. Make sure it's on. Next, make a shortcut. Just swipe down on your phone, and type in shortcuts. And it will appear. This is the shortcuts window. Just click all shortcuts. We're now ready to create a shortcut which will live here. Let's click the plus sign. So let's add for first action. In this search bar, type and get latest video. Select it. And in the search bar, type and encode media. Click on that little button. And we want to select audio only. And we want to select A for the format that's Apple's music format. And let's add the final option, and that is share. So click into that box again. Type in share. All set up there. We'll go to next. We'll give the shortcut a name. Let's call it at ringtone. And tap on done. And now we have our shortcut ready for action. Next up, we'll record the audio from a YouTube video. So let's open up YouTube, I have a track here which I'm going to use for this demo now. Once you start recording, it's going to record all the sounds it hears because the microphone's on. So just be in a quiet place when you're making this recording. Let's swipe down, and press the record button. I stopped the screen recording, and it says screen recording video saved to photos. And we now have a screen recording. Next up, we'll get the audio using the shortcut. We want to do is go to save files. And we can give it a name. Then tap done. It's saving it onto the phone. Press save. Now open up GarageBand. We need to turn the phone around because it works in landscape. We want the audio recorder. If you don't see it, you might need to swipe along. 
Once you see audio recorder, just press it. And once you're in here, make sure that the metronome is turned off. We want it to be white not blue. Blue is on, and white is off. Next up go to this button, it looks like bricks like Tetris. Just press that. So we get the kind of track view then over. On the right hand side, there's a small plus sign. Press that. And then go to section A. And we want to turn off automatic. And I tend to set for bars to 15. You can set what you like. This gives us a time of 30 seconds along the top which is a typical ring time. The next thing we'll do is grab the track itself, the audio track. So go to this little button here. The audio button looks a little bit like a letter. And we want to go to files just at the top here. Then go to browse items from the files app. Now you can see this is the track, I just made test for us. So what I'm going to do is press it. And it will bring it over to this section in just a second. Next, just drag this onto the timeline. Now you have some options to trim this. You can close it in at one end, or you can close it in at another end. And then you can just drag it along so you get the exact part that you want. And you can also just press the button, and you can loop it. And that will just play that same segment over, and over again. Once you're happy with what you've selected click on the button here which is the downward arrow. Go to my songs. And it will save it to my songs. That's done. And what we want to do is press and hold it. Then go to share. We have a selection choice of a ringtone. Your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. Your ringtone needs to be 30 seconds. Tap on continue. And we can create a name for this ringtone. Let's call it happy song. Then we go to export ringtone. Then tap on Use Sound As. Select Standard Ringtone. And we can just confirm that by going to Settings. Let's go back, and we go to Sound and Haptics. We go to Ringtone. And you can see it's using Happy Song. Thanks watching this video.